Can you calm down, please? <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of my wife for everything she does for the planet. I do worry about our new friends. I think they're trying to radicalize her. They call themselves the environmentalists. My wife says everyone should recycle. My girlfriend doesn't. <laughs> I think that's why my wife hates her. To support my wife, we're going to do beach cleans with her. Now, if you've never done a beach clean before, you need gloves, litter picker, bin bag, and a high-vis jacket. You know, something that somebody on community service would wear. Not for anything bad, like being a murderer or a paedophile, because there's a lot of little kiddies on the beach. <laughs> you find all sorts of items when you go and do a beach clean. Straws, plastic bottles, crisp bags, bottle tops, even sanitary towels. I have started to wear sanitary towels because I wanted the confidence to be able to roll a blade. I do get a sense of well-being from doing beach cleans, but I just don't like the locals, because they come up to you and say, thanks for cleaning our beach. It's really good what you do for our beach. For more people like you in this world, our beach should be a cleaner place. Now, the last thing I remember was beaches were public places. Just because you live somewhere doesn't mean that you own it. I'm from Warrington. It'd be like me standing outside IKEA going, thanks for coming to our IKEA. Appreciate what you're doing for our IKEA. <laughs> get over yourselves. Are we big into recycling in Liverpool? No, okay. <laughs> Continue to, to destroy the planet then, well done. I've come up with a few slogans to try and help people with their recycling needs. Don't be a complainer, bring your own container. <laughs> Use your hand, save the land. Is that a plastic spoon? You're a buffoon. <laughs> Fork off! <laughs> you shouldn't use plastic forks. Straws are one of the biggest problems that we face nowadays because you can only use them once. They end up on the beach, wash into the ocean, kill the fishes. They even get stuck in turtles' noses. And if you really think about it, they're dangerous to camels because you often hear how they break their backs. <laughs> so think of that one. <laughs> I love my wife. I like my girlfriend. The one thing I don't like about my girlfriend is every time we're fooling around, I can't stop thinking about her dad. Now, I don't want to, but he just enters my mind, and I can't get rid of him. It's because every time I look down, she's got a little tattoo on her wrist that says, Dad, and I find it really off-putting. She has got mum tattooed on her left hand, and her mum is quite fit. <laughs> she's not as good with her left hand. Swings and roundabouts. <laughs> to try and reduce the amount of plastic that we're using, it has actually got me in a lot of trouble in my day-to-day -day life. I've actually been in trouble with work recently. Thanks for your sympathy. <laughs> I was invited to a meeting the other day, and they said, Mr. Lund, we've had a few complaints about you. I said, I'm really sorry. I don't know what it could be, because it could be for a number of things. So I played it dumb and kept quiet. Said, we'd like you to explain, a lot of people have been complaining about your smell. Try and help us understand. I said, well, yeah, we're trying to reduce the amount of plastic that we're using. Shower gel comes in a bottle, and, you know, we can't use it. We're trying to save the planet. I said, that's really good of you, but have you ever considered using soap? I said, well, of course I've considered using soap, but if you watch films, you watch TV series, they always say, don't drop the soap in the shower. Something bad will happen to you. So they've let me off of it, which was nice. <laughs> My wife's fallen out with me. Oh, thank you. Two, three people. Appreciate it. So I got home at nine o'clock the other morning. Been out drinking with my friends, and she sat up waiting for me, and she's really, really mad. She said, where have you been till this time? I said, babe, I'm really sorry it's happened again. She said, what do you mean it's happened again? I said, I've woken up in bed with another woman. So she's really mad. Did you wear a condom, she said. I said, of course I wore a condom. You never know what you're going to catch. Have you any idea how long it takes for a condom to biodegrade? You're killing the environment. <laughs> so stop wearing condoms. 
Anyway, you've been lovely. Continue to recycle. My name is Ben Lund. Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.